now I'm back, let me just show you the rollers. So there they are. Or the scrapers, I should say, back on the rollers. Now I'm going to turn the machine back up the ways again for you. And back onto the grips. And back onto my magnets. Now it's ready to go again. Now, when I watched, um, it was Cindy Leeds actually that I watched um, her demo on the machine. Um, and I thought, oh, that's a, a fantastic machine. I'll, I'll definitely save up to get that. But I thought it was um, sort of covered uh, plastic, but it's actually metal. You know, it's all, this part is the covered uh, plastic, this bit, this is metal base is metal the handle the crank handle is here and just take it off again it's a nice big handle and every one rotation of this is the same as two on your old pasta machine so you'll find you won't have to uh, take as long to condition a piece of clay so Oh, my poor voice is not lasting very long. Um, this is the back of it, just in case. These are the two uh, buffers, as I was telling you, to stop the moving roller from kicking back when you put a thicker piece of clay in. Um, it's ingenious, really, as I said. The, I don't use this measurement much. There, there is a measurement on the wheel here. Um, I don't use that much. I kind of gauge it from these markers here um so I, do, I don't use that one much um i think that's all i have to tell you about it unless you want to see it um in action i can see a few fingerprints on it now to clean it so let me show you how quiet it is do you know with our other machine we had a a click 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 sound not with this one get a piece of clay now this is not conditioned so we will close the uh, make it smaller and again just put our buffers in place and there you go nice and quiet and I find I don't get the lines that I would with the uh, with the old pasta machine it's just a nice smooth operation there we go. And like so. And if you watch um, Cindy Leet's um, demo video on it, she puts a whole block of Sculpey into it, out of the plastic and conditions it um, by just reducing the rollers each time. So you can see it's nice and quiet. Um, so I really don't miss my trusty old bucketing machine. I love this machine. I think it's a great idea. Now, I didn't opt to get the slicer on the end of it. If you're going to get the one that has the, um, the slicer, it fits here. Um, for the simple reason that I, this is the level that the bench is at. Um, I didn't want to have to um rearrange everything to use a slicer so i got a separate slicer um and i'll show you um a demo on that the next time um i'm going to do a little video on sanding and buffing um and when i started doing polymer clay it's the one thing i didn't do i didn't sand uh, down through the grades and um to be honest i did a little bit of sanding but then I varnished it for that, that finish. But um, I got a little machine in Lidl. Was it Lidl or Aldi? Lidl, I think it was, um, for buffing. It's up there, actually. I'll just give you a quick look at it there. On the bookshelf. That's it there. Um, I use that for buffing now. And I am delighted with the finish it gives. And... I'm probably sorry now for all those pieces that I did start with and didn't buff and shine or sand and shine. 
I probably could have got a much better finish on it. So um, that's a few upcoming videos for you. So I will do a sanding and buffing one and then I'll show you the Lucy Clay Slicer. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.